Hi today I'm going to tell you about this new gadget that I found and totally love. It's the Proctor Silex egg cooker and if you've never tried an egg cooker before you are going to love it. I went to a friend's house and her and her husband shared the one that they had just bought and they loved it so I looked around and ended up finding um, this one um, at Walmart for ten dollars. Such a great deal. I believe we will be having eggs for breakfast, lunch, and dinner now. So I'm going to show you how to use it. So the first thing is, let me show you what it comes with. It does come with an instruction manual, so that's good. Um, it comes with a little measuring cup. And then this is an egg poacher tray. So when you get an egg cooker, you want to look around and make sure it's got as many gadgets with it as you can find. And I loved this extra gadget, so not all of them come with it. The egg poacher, uh, the lid, and then this is where you set your eggs on. So, And then the actual cooking tray. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is plug in your warmer, and then you want to decide how many eggs you want to cook. And this will cook your eggs um, soft boiled, hard boiled, or medium boiled, and also poached. So the measuring cup that comes with it is the measuring cup that's going to that you're going to use to determine how much water you need to put in here. So that's the one thing that I would change about this product if I could. The measurement is really kind of hard to read, but anyways, I'm going hard boil and I'm going to cook four eggs, so I've gone up to the number four. And then you want to make sure that you are placing the water in the center, and it will run off over into the sides, but you want to fill up the center of the warmer first. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in there, and then you can see it just kind of overflows to the other. I'm not going to worry about that. That's kind of what I want. All right, so then I'm going to go ahead and place this. Another thing is it doesn't really like stick on there really secure, so um, it's kind of a little bit wobbly. You're not sure it's on there, but it is, so don't worry about that. Um, and then I had said I was going to do four eggs. I'm just going to place four, my four eggs on here. Now, one thing that is kind of strange, um, when I had visited my friends, they had actually poked holes on the top of their eggs, and there is a little hole punch in there, but when I cooked it, I had forgot that step, and the manual actually doesn't even say it, even though it does come with the measuring cup. So I skipped it, and my eggs came out perfect. So um, I'm sure it would help, but why bother if it's going to work without it? So anyways, I have my eggs in there, and then all I have to do is put the top on, and push start and it will actually beep when it's ready. I'm telling you, this is the fastest, easiest way to cook eggs. I hope it doesn't even buzz off before um, I finish saying this, but it's just a really easy way to cook eggs, especially if you like going camping or something like that where you don't want to really be dealing with a whole pot of, of eggs. It's just so easy. So anyways, I'm going to let my eggs cook and when the buzzer goes off, I'll come back and check on them. Okay, so my buzzer has gone off. You can hear it. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off and then I'm going to remove the top. Now it is pretty hot, so be careful with that. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And then what they suggest is that you actually take the um, top and then stick it in a bowl of hot water, but I don't really have a bowl that works well with that. So I am just going to put my eggs in my cold water and yes, they are a little bit hot. So, and then you just let the eggs cool off for a little bit and they're gonna feel so easy. I'm gonna show you. All right, so I had cooked these eggs for about 14 minutes for four of them. Um, the manual says they actually cook seven and the manual says cooking seven of them hard boiled would take about 18 minutes. So of course the temperature varies depending on how many eggs you're cooking. But I think my eggs are ready to go ahead and peel. I've let them sit for probably about five minutes, maybe not even that long. So I'll go ahead and move this out of the way and then I'm going to go ahead and crack one of these eggs and okay and I just want you to see how easy I'm a little awkward here because I'm got this thing in my way but look at this just look at how amazingly this egg peels so easy if you've ever peeled eggs before and just had to scrape off all the pieces this is super cool okay so with the poached eggs you want to use the poacher and go ahead and spray it lightly with the olive oil before you or cooking oil before you put your eggs in there and then you're going to go ahead and you're this time you're using um, the number four on the medium cook and again starting in the center of the ring go ahead and put your water in there first and let it fill this does go back on and then you just 
you have your eggs craft put in there it will hold three eggs and then just place this in the center go ahead and cover it back up and turn it on and it's going to be done in about six to eight minutes Okay, so my beeper went off and my poached eggs are ready. Again, it's hot, so be careful. And you know, I, I just love the way these come out. I think the thing I would have done, I always forget, is put a little salt and pepper maybe first rather than after, so it's kind of cooked in there. It is hot, so be careful. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pull these out and then they're just gonna basically slip right onto the plate. You can just see so easy now the other day we cooked some of these up and just had them with our waffles and so that was super delicious and you can just see how beautifully they come out love this I just love this idea like I said about six to eight minutes I didn't really keep track of it this time but just really nice love it I did want to cut into the egg so that I could kind of show you what what you're getting and um, so these or you can just see just a little bit runny there, depending on how you like it. You might play around with it if you like them harder cooked, but they're poached eggs. And then the hard boiled eggs, these were uh, cooked hard and you can see how they look. So very, very yummy. All right, so the last part is just the cleanup of your egg cooker. Now I just use a paper towel and wipe it down, get all that buildup off. And if you need to, then you can just use a little bit of baking soda to help clean it up. And then this gets placed on there, but let me show you. I also like that the cord gets wrapped up there. And then um, just put that in there and all the gadgets and it's ready just to store away. Now, if I had one of the fancier ones, the metal ones, I might consider just leaving this out on my counter because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be using it a lot. But anyways, I love these egg cookers. They're just a really great value, a really great gadget, I love it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please feel free to check out some of my other videos and bye for now.